Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Rose, uh, for those that don't know me, and welcome back to God's glory. So, today we're going to be talking about um, one of the things I wish I knew um, earlier on in my Christian life, you know. And um, I'm going to be looking down because um, I have them all written down in my notebook. So yeah, don't mind if you see me looking down. But before we get into this, um, let's pray. Do you have any father? We just want to thank you for this beautiful day. We want to thank you for a chance to teach, to learn, and a chance to get to know you better, Lord. Lord, I pray that you speak through me, Lord Jesus. And if it's not from you, may it not come from my mouth, Lord Jesus. May everything be done to in order to bring you glory in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray amen so first things first um these are my personal things that i learned and these are things that i wish i could have learned earlier and guys don't mind um these are my blockmates talking in the corridor um first um thing that i learned was that all truth should be measured against the bible guys this was one of the most crucial things that I learned um, because it looked like um, certain people uh, like uh, due to certain experiences um, create truths and this is what they base their churches on but then this is necessarily not from the Bible and sometimes I used to question um, why am I supposed to do that why am I supposed to do that and you know um, literally look try looking the scripture and try to see if I can find anything and there was not really any scripture reference and I was just like but why am I doing this you know and then like just later for me to find out that certain people um, take truths from their previous experiences and then they base their church upon it and I'm not going to mention anything so I don't like you know put any church out there but yeah guys whatever truth somebody tells you be it your pastor your leader um always measure it against the bible and try to see if it's really in the bible especially when it's something that makes you feel un uncomfortable and something that just doesn't feel right you know always trust your instincts your gut like that is like i feel like that's like god trying to tell you which are my daughter mm -mm. you know this is not it um the second thing is um you should make jesus your role model and not other people um, I'm sure a lot of us have seen this way you you see someone, you know, and you feel like they are the perfect example of Christianity. Um, and then later when you get to know them better, you, you see that your standards for them were too high and they're actually not it. Um, all I'm saying um, is uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because, guys, um, the moment you follow somebody or you make somebody your role model and they don't add up to how they are supposed to add up or they don't become that perfect Christian, like you also fall, like your standards are also going to go low because you're like, okay, cool. If Rosalia is doing this, why can't I do it? this? Guys, what I'm telling you now is like make Jesus your role model. Let him be the only, um, let him be the only form of Christianity that you want to be. Let him be like that perfection and let us walk towards perfection which is christ you know because people are we are not perfect like we all fall in all that and then the third one that i learned was that <laughs> the moment you, you you decide to take um to become more serious in your christian life um you should not abandon your friends that like your friends are definitely gonna need you um i'm not saying that obviously if you had like some toxic some abusive friendship you should still go on with them no um i'm saying i'm talking about friends that are not of the same religion as you are and um as long as those people are not toxic to you they don't force you to do things that you don't want um keep them your friends keep them close by because um, I always believe that there's a reason why you are put there. Um, maybe you are the only person where this person can hear Christ from, you know, instead of running away from them, actually stay in the friendship, um, teach them about your new faith and, and, and just share this faith with them. You might be the only Christian person that that person had in their life and then now you run away from them. You know, one thing that I've learned is that actually the the more you run away, like the more they actually need you. Okay. Um yeah, the fourth thing that I learned 
was that fasting is actually not about how many days you can go without food, but it's about how much time you can spend in the word of God while fasting. Um, for me, fasting was always like, okay, cool, let's see if I can like go this many days without eating, you know. And then after that, then I feel good about myself. But actually, it's not that. Like, what are you doing when you are not eating, you know? Are you sleeping? Are you doing other things? Or are you really spending time with God, you know, in the Word? Um, yeah, that's what I learned. And um, the fifth thing that I learned, which is one of the hardest, is that you have to respect other people's religion um respect comes um sure respect comes both ways hey um i realized that earlier on i used to really like disrespect other people's religion um not really disrespect but think that my religion is better than theirs like i mean in my own eyes it's better than theirs and i'm sure in their own eyes their religion is better than mine but then that doesn't mean that it doesn't deserve respect or um I shouldn't treat them the way I would expect them to treat them. Guys, let's just respect other people's religions. Let's respect that they they do things different from us. And I mean, if you're going to share Christ with this person, it doesn't mean that you have to disrespect their religion in order to share Christ. You can just share Christ with them without disrespecting their religion. Um, that means that shaming and everything with that, like the moment you do that, I realize that people will actually um, stay further away from you instead of even like being interested to listen about this new faith and then this new God that you have found. Um, oh yeah, and I think I've spoken about convictions earlier on. Um, I think I've learned that convictions are personal, guys, and I will not stop to, 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 to you know, to ponder on this point because sure um convictions are personal and um god will convict you in an area where he feels like you're lacking you know um different people's people can have different conviction my conviction i may be or may not be the same as yours just because um Rosalia, I got this conviction doesn't mean that it's your conviction also. But then if you feel like, okay, cool, but then this, after she said it, I'm actually also noticing that I'm also having the same problem. Then only like you can share convictions. I hope we understand by this. Because um, like sometimes I find myself looking at other people and then when they tell me their story, you know, I'm convicted of this, I'm convicted of, of that. Then I feel like, okay, cool, God, why are you also not convicting me of the same thing, you know? And then that's when I had to learn that convictions are personal you know we can all have different convictions but then that just means that god is actually talking to us and he's trying to to show us all those areas that we are not surrendering to him um oh yeah the other thing that i've learned is that the way you speak um correction uh, towards your fellow believers and the way you speak to non-believers is actually different and for me i used to speak like i used to speak to everybody as if they were christians you know like whether they were believers or non-believers like i only learned now that the way you convict non-believers and the way you convict believers are different like these are different things okay and then um the last thing that i've learned is that we are all prone to sin you know um we are all sinners and we've all fallen short of the glory of god and i guess this is one thing that came as a like a turning point for me in my christian life because i i had to realize um or oh god had to bend me actually for me to realize that i'm also prone to sin and that i'm not holier than anybody else and yeah guys um these are some of the things I wish I knew earlier, but then these are also the things that actually help me to understand God better and to understand this Christian faith better. So yeah, guys, with all that said, um, thank you so much for listening and for watching. Um, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. And I just um, hope that you guys should uh, share this and then so that you can probably bless somebody or two people, you know um yeah and i hope i'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much guys for being there bye